Stacy from Craft Life, and I'm here today to teach you the Rain Balloon Advanced Barefoot Sandals. If you saw my other video for the basic Rain Balloon Barefoot Sandals, then you are ready to make an advanced pair. This is a pair that I sent in for the Rain Balloon National Contest. I got second place. Thank you so much to everyone who voted for me. This is the actual pair. They sent them back to me. I'm so excited. Now I can wear them. Yay! The supplies you will need are the mini loom and its tool. I use crochet hooks. You will also need colored rubber bands. As I said in the other video, you, will, you can use two colors three colors, four colors, but I use three colors. Today I am using pink, blue, and green. You will also need a C-clip. It is a piece of plastic shaped like a C. Are you ready to learn the Rain Balloon Advanced Barefoot Sandals? If not, pause the video, get your supplies, and get ready. The toe and the ankle are the same on both the advanced and the basic barefoot sandals. Please be sure to watch the basic barefoot sandals video on the Craft Life channel before you try to make these. I teach you how to make the toe and the ankle, but today I will be teaching you how to do the fishtail middle section and how to connect it to the toe and the ankle. We are ready for step one. For step one, you will need your mini loom and a rubber band. I'm not going to review, so if you need a review, go back to the basic barefoot sandals video. To start, take your rubber band and wrap it around the sharp turn and head back to your start. Ta-da! This is the toe. I will use 10 rubber bands for my toe, you can adjust to your size. Remember, this is also in the basic barefoot sandals video. To begin, stick your hook in one of the sides, grab a rubber band, stick it on the hook, and pull it through. Take another rubber band, pull it through, take another, Pull it through, take another one, pull it through. Continue this until you have your toe size. This is step two, the middle section, which is going to be the fish tail design. What you're going to do is take your hook and stick it in here, rip this off. Okay. I am going to use a different color. You can use any color you would like. You're going to take two rubber bands, put them on your hook, and pull them through and stick them back on. So now you have four, just like that. Now I'm going to take another different color. You can take any color you would like and take one of them this time. Put it on your hook, pull it through. Okay, see how there's four? You're going to take the two on the outside. You're going to lift this one up on your hook and then go to the other one and lift that one up on your hook and stick this back on, just like that. Now, you're going to take another rubber band, put it on your hook, Pull this through, take the outside rubber bands, and put it back on. Now I'm going to take another rubber band, put it on your hook, pull this through, and grab the two outside rubber bands and put it back on. Take another one, put it on your hook. Pull this through and take the two outline outside ones. 
put it back on your hook. Continue this until you have the length from your toe to your ankle. It should be on your toe, fitting properly, and touching your ankle. I've just finished the length from the, my toe to my ankle. 30 rubber bands. You may need more or you may need less. Now we are ready for step three, the ankle straps. Since this was in the other video, I'm not going to do a review, but I will do a few to show you how to do it. Okay, take a rubber band, put it on your hook, and pull it through. Pull all of those rubber bands onto this one rubber band right here. Take another rubber band, put it on your hook, and pull it through. Put it back on. Take another rubber band, put it on your hook, pull it through, and put it back on. Take another rubber band, put it on your hook, pull it through, and put it back on. Do this until you have your desired length, the length around your ankle. I finished my first ankle strap, 14 rubber bands. And now I'm going to attach my C-clip. But first, you need to know that there are two ankle straps. This rubber band is going to be shared by both ankle straps. Okay, let's attach the C-clip. First, pull your rubber bands so you have enough room to stick your finger in. Once you stick, suck your finger in, take your C-clip and place it there. So it's holding both rubber bands right there. Pull this off just like that. This is my first ankle strap. Now I'm going to show you how to do your second one. Start by sticking your hook in the shared rubber band right there. Stick it in and take a rubber band. Place it on your hook, pull it through, and put it back on. Take another one, place it on your hook, pull it through, and put it back on. Take another one, place it on your hook, pull it through, and put it back on. Continue this until both angle straps are equal. I've just finished my second angle strap, 14 rubber bands just like the other one, and I'm going to attach it to the C-clip. To do that, you're going to pull it, stick your finger in both rubber bands, take your C-clip from the other one here, pull it out, and get your C-clip in between that, just like that. Then you can take it off, and there you go. Now you need to make another one. I have one already made. So, I'll be right back. Let me go try them on. This is what they look like when they're on. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make the advanced barefoot sandals. Come on back to learn how to attach balloons and charms. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. If you make some, please post a picture of them on the Craft Life Facebook page. We would love to see them. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!